Hey everyone, this is Bremster and this is number 108 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a Kropke German Whisper problem by MicroStudy. Um, the goal of this one is to fully resolve box 5 um, and also to place the digit in the cell marked with an X. Um, the way the rules on this one work is um, uh, on the German whisper lines, the green lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five, and the cells separated by black dots must be in a one to two ratio. Now there's a link below in the description to where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try the problem yourself. Um, the important thing to remember is do not try and solve any other digits, only the ones required are needed. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that you can uh, give this one a try. Um, so you can pause the video and then when you unpause the video, I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so the important thing to remember with this one when you start, there's a couple of important tricks, but um, the way I started this one was to uh, think about two important things. The first one is on German whisper lines. You can never place a five because if you place a five on a German whisper line, there's nothing you can put next to it because if you go down from a five, um, five lower than five is zero or lower, not a valid Sudoku digit. Five higher than five is 10 or higher, not valid Sudoku digits. So you can never place five on a German whisper line. So the five would have to go in one of those two cells. But there is no valid ratio with five um, with uh, using the one to two ratio because half of five is two and a half and double five is ten, neither of which are valid digits. So these are not, um, so this becomes the five. Now, the other important digits that can never go on the black dots, so can never go on these cells, is you can never put seven and nine on ratio dots because of the same issue. Half of seven is three and a half, half of nine is four and a half, and if you double them, you go over 10. So you can never put seven or nine into those cells. So these become seven and nine, which means those are high digits. Now, going back to whisper logic, um, you will always do what we call alternating polarity on a whisper line, which means you will always alternate high-low. And this is because of the nature of the five difference. If you grab any high digit from six to nine and make a five difference, you cannot go up because you will leave the bounds of 10 or higher and you'll be done. Um, so you must go down. But even if you pick the highest digit nine and go five down, you go all the way down to four, you leapfrog the five. Um, and you'll end up in the bound of low digits. And the same if you start with low digits and go up, you can't go you can't go down because you'll leave the bound of the Sudoku digits. If you go up, you'll leapfrog the five and you'll enter high digits. So because of the five difference, you're always alternating high, low, high, low. So because these are high digits, this must be a low digit, one, two, three, four. This, these must be high digits, six, seven, eight, nine, but we know they can't be seven, nine. Now there's more I could tell about this. So these become six, eight, and these are all one, two, three, four. Now, this cannot be a four. In fact, this is um, immediately restricted um, to being a one because it sees all four high digits, which means one of them must be a six. And the only digit within one to nine that is five away from six is one. So this becomes the one, which immediately makes that a two. So these can't be one or two. They have to be three or four, which works for these ratio dots. Fortunate that. Now, um, what was the trick I found here? I think it was to do with this. If this is a four, this is a nine. So this four would mean this has to be a nine, but I can't put a second nine in this row. So this has to be three. Three can only go next to eight or nine, and I can't put a nine in this row. So this becomes an eight, but this three makes this six. That makes this eight, which makes this four, and four can only go next to nine, which makes this seven, and that is the solution to this problem. I really like this one. It's everything working together quite tightly because it's all mostly happening in box five, um, but it, it's a very, very tight um, constraint using a lot of the tricks that I really like, five, seven, and nine, not being able to go on ratio dots and the, the pressure being caused by the whisper lines. I really like this one. I thought it was very, very cool. Thank you, MicroStudy, for submitting it. I know it was submitted months ago, but I've had to take a break for obvious reasons or people who know. Um, so thank you, everyone. Um, I'm hoping to get back into the problem series a bit more over the coming weeks. Um, it probably won't be daily, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, thank you, everyone. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the channel. And as always, good luck with your solving.